guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new welcome and for those of you that are returning thanks for checking back in with me so just like the title says today I'm filming my Target haul video and I went to Target about last week so I got some goodies a uh, majority of them are some cleaning products as well as some other goodies that I have in this bag right here I have used some of the cleaning products so you will see that they are either halfway or quarter way done already so I'm just gonna jump right in this video and show you guys what I got and give you a little bit of feedback um, but yeah so if you're interested to see what I got at Target just keep on watching starting off I decided to grab some of the Mrs. Myers cleaning product line the fall collection if you must um, I personally love their multi-purpose sprays. That's what really got me into them in the beginning. And I love that they're all natural cleaning products. I personally never really cared like what cleaning products I use as long as it did the job. But I've noticed lately that with my asthma and I've just been getting really frequent migraines that I should pay more attention to what I use when I'm cleaning up around the house because I love to clean. I'm very OCD. And so why not, you know, make a better choice in the products that I use to make the whole experience easier on myself. So rant over, I'm just going to show you guys what I got. So like I said, I got the fall um, collection Miss Meyer scent. So this one is the pumpkin scent and it looks like that. I've never tried this before or have heard anything about it. So I decided to try it for myself. I like this scent. I normally love the scent pumpkin. Like I love all the pumpkin candles and whatnot. But I was a little disappointed with this scent. I don't know because if it's an all natural thing, but it's just a little, it's not as sweet as I was hoping it was going to be because I do love sweet scents or floral scents. So this one kind of let me down, but I don't mind. So I just use this around the bathroom when I'm cleaning the counters and whatnot. And then, like I said, since I was looking into their fall line, I also got... Sorry, everything's on the floor, so I'm just like bending over to pick it up. But anyways, so I got their pumpkin scent dish soap, which as you can see is basically like a quarter way done already. I do like it for dishes. I mean, it, is, it doesn't smell bad, so don't get me wrong. I was just hoping it was going to be a little sweeter. But yeah, so I picked myself up some more dish soap. And I like that it doesn't leave your hands smelling like dish soap because I personally hate how dish soap smells. Yeah. Then I got the um, pumpkin hand soap, you know, sticking with my theme. And so since I wasn't the biggest fan of this scent, I did end up putting it on Sean's side of the bathroom. So this is his hand soap. And then um, on YouTube, I heard a lot about the mum scent last fall from um, SMLXO, also known as Stephanie Lita, on YouTube. She's one of the, you know, OGs. Anyway, so I love this. I love floral scents. I loved their spring collection, which I think was like the peony scent. I ran out of all of that. So now this fall, this would have to be my holy grail. I definitely want to get their um, all-purpose spray as well. But yeah, so this one is the soap that I put on my side of the bathroom. And the last um, Miss Myers cleaning product that I got was the... Um, tub and tile spray in the lemon verbena scent. I personally am not the biggest lemon scent fan, but it is pretty subtle and it does smell clean. So I really don't mind this at all. And so far it hasn't been too overwhelming when I clean the bathroom with it. So that's a plus. And as you can see, it's already halfway done because I mean, you use a lot when you clean the bathroom. Moving on, I got some other all-natural cleaning products from Target, which is the Method brand, which I'm sure all of you are familiar with. I haven't used majority of these specific ones. I did try other um, multi-purpose sprays from them before my boyfriend's mom actually got me into them because she had them at the house. But I tried to venture out and see what else they had. So first I got the... Um, method heavy duty degreaser which is in lemongrass i haven't used it yet but my boyfriend loves to cook so he does all the cooking and i do the cleaning 
But with that being said, when he cooks, he makes a huge mess. So I figured that maybe this bad boy will help alleviate all the grease on the stovetop so we don't have to scrub as hard. So I haven't tried it yet, but I have high hopes for it. Next, I was telling my mom about this cleaning line and she asked me if I knew if they had a good stainless steel clean cleanser. So because all the ones that she gets are the wipes and they tend to leave like the fridge like super streaky. So we picked this little guy up we haven't used it yet, but once again, we have some high hopes for it. And it says that's in the scent Apple Orchard. Haven't used it, but I'll get back to you guys. If you're curious, let me know in the comments below. Next, I got some huh, um, antibiotic all-purpose cleanser in the scent Wildflower. I haven't used it yet as well, but I have high hopes that for my makeshift spa that I'm in right now that I can use it to clean all the surfaces and whatnot and at least it's all natural but it still does the job and can sanitize everything. And last, or two more products. I got the Method Antibacterial Bathroom Cleaner in Spearmint. I personally love this uh, minty scent. So this one will be nice when I'm in the shower and it's, like I said, the scent isn't so strong and it doesn't smell like chemicals. But yeah. And last cleaning product that I got was the Method Glass Surface Spray in the scent Mint. It's kind of my new Windex. I was a little disappointed in the fact that it didn't smell super minty. Like I said, I love mint. But I mean, it still does the job and it smells better than Windex because that too has that like odor that it just after a while it really, really gets to me. But yeah, so that's all the cleaning products that I got from Target. Moving on to some other goodies. I got some cheetah shoes. So I found or heard about these bad boys as well through SMLXO on YouTube. And I'll link her channel down below. She's one of my favorite um, YouTube gurus to watch. Anyway, so I got these um, at the store. And they're in the size 7 because they don't come in half sizes because I'm usually between a 6.5 or 7. But I thought they were perfect for fall. And I like that they're like a little bit of a suede material. And of course, cheetah print can't go wrong with that. So super excited to try these out for fall. Next, I had to stock up on some shaving cream because... Um, with these bad boys, I tend to use maybe a little bit more than I need because it's kind of hard to squeeze out the right amount versus like your traditional shaving cream that has the pump. But I love this because I have pretty sensitive skin. So this is very, um, it doesn't give me a reaction. I love the scent and it's super smooth and it leaves my legs smelling good and feeling good as well. So I had to stock up on those. Next, I got my um, deep clean invigorating foaming scrub from Neutrogena. I would have to say this is one of my holy grail products. I've been using this stuff since high school and honestly, I don't think I'll ever not use it. I think I love how it feels because it's very minty so it wakes me up in the morning because I am a morning shower. So that one, first off, that wakes me up in the morning. And second of all, it is a daily um, exfoliant, which I would say is also safe to use because it's so subtle. And personally, just on my skin, I feel like it's done a great job and I haven't had any breakouts and all that because of this product. So this one is definitely a continuous favorite. Next, I got some body washes. One that I wanted to try when I saw it was this um, Carez Botanical Shower Foam. I love hand foam or hand soap foam. Never tried like a body foam before, so I was excited to try this out. And like I said, I really love floral scents. So it looks like that. And it's in the scent White or Orchid and, co and has coconut milk. So I figured I'd give it a try. And when I did smell in the store, it did smell like roses. So I love roses and I love how they smell but so I'm excited to try this out and the other repurchase that I got was the Dove Purely Pampering Body Wash 
and this one I've used before I love it like I said I have sensitive skin so I just feel like this one really makes my skin feeling good afterwards I mean I don't really know how much more in depth you can get with body wash but yeah so I love this stuff next I had to pick up myself some sunscreen so little fun fact before I went to esthetician school, I was so against sunscreen. I figured I'm Asian, I, I tan very easily, um, all that jazz. And I also just really don't like how sunscreen smells. But after going through school, I learned all the damage that sun really can do to your skin. And obviously if I'm working as an esthetician, I gotta have a set a good example for my clients or no one's gonna wanna come to me. So yeah, I decided to find myself some other options. I have some higher end sunscreens that I have from skincare lines, but I figured I'd try out some other um, drugstore ones. So I tried, I'm trying out this sun bum stuff from Target and I got the body one in SPF 50. And I like that it's a mist, so it's not too thick. If you guys like this stuff, um, hit thumbs up for this video. And if you also have any other suggestions on sunscreens that you guys like, that one don't smell so strong or like the traditional sunscreen, leave those in the comments below as well. And I got their face version as well in SPF 50. I also wanted to share a quick fact that I learned in school. Um, when you guys pick your sunscreens, and I know everyone wants to get the highest SPF because I think that's gonna give them the most coverage. When in reality, companies are putting more chemicals into their products to reach that SPF 100, 100 plus, when really SPF 30 to SPF 50 is the best way to go. You're still going to get the same amount of coverage, but less chemicals and less zinc oxide. And that's the stuff that makes, you know, the sunscreen all white and protects you from all that jazz. So, yeah. That's a little side note that don't invest your money in getting higher SPFs because reality, you're just putting more chemicals on your face. You're not really protecting your skin any more than someone using SPF 50. Just thought I'd share. Next, I got a couple hair products and they are the Kristen S that you can pick up at Target. I heard about these products through Megan Lee, um, on YouTube, also known as Levita Day Meg. I'm sure you guys have heard of her, but I was excited to give these a try because I'm always looking for other um, beach wave sprays. I do use this coconut water one that I do get um, from Target, but online because I can never find it in store. So this one they did have in store, so I wanted to give this a shot. So like I said, it's the Soft Shine Beach Wave Spray, and it looks like so. And then I also got their Style Reviving Dry Shampoo because, I mean, who doesn't love a good dry shampoo? And she likes it, so let's see how it works for me. And the last things that I got at Target were some everyday drugstore makeup. So I personally love MAC, so I use MAC Foundation MAC products pretty much every day but I've noticed how much it adds up. So I've been looking for some other dupes that I could do for days that I'm just hanging out at the house, running errands, or just doing other things that I really don't need to get too, too ready for. So I have tried this before and I like it. I just needed to find a shade that actually matched me because they were too light before. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me, their matte and poreless collection, which is like the teal color. And I got this in the shade 220 on 220 natural beige so I'm hoping that this actually matches my skin and worst case I can always mix it with my lighter shades to hopefully even it out and get my tone then I had to pick up some backup mascaras because I'm running low because I'm the kind of person that likes to get backups before I actually run out because I hate when I'm getting ready and then as I'm grabbing it or using it, it like is running out or it's just not doing what I need it to do. So these are my Holy Grail mascaras. I already have short stubby Asian lashes, so I know there's really not much most mascaras can do for me, hence 
falsy strip lashes or eyelash extensions. So for when I just want to keep it natural, which is pretty much on a daily basis, unless it's for a special occasion, I'll use this mascara. So I'll prime my eyelashes with their white prime base. And then I'll go over it with their Voluminous um, Original Mascara in 310 Blackest Black. I just think that these are the only products that actually I feel like make a difference in my eyelashes, which I make them, which I notice that they're a little bit more lengthier than any other mascara that I've ever used. And I've used these since high school, so what? About six years. So at least for the last six years, I've been using these guys and I love them. So I had to buy those again, of course. And the last two products I got are my eyeliners. If you know me, you guys know that I'm a huge wing-eyed girl, so I always have my wing tips when I do my eyeliner, but I'm trying to not do it as often, so when I do, it's more of like a dramatic, you know, difference. I mean, a subtle dramatic difference. But yeah, so this is what I normally use, the Rimmel London one. This is the waterproof version. I don't normally gravitate to it, but my local Target was out of it, so I thought this was better than nothing. And, I mean, it's waterproof, so if I'm sweating or whatnot, it'll be good, too. And the last thing that I picked up was the Maybelline Define Align Eyeliner. So I use this one to tight line under my um, lash line or my lower eyelid or my lower um, lash line when I do eyeshadow. But, I mean, this is my go-to or the Rimmel one. But other than that, all the other ones, I feel like I have to really dig it into my eye to see anything. And I like how smooth this goes on. So this is honestly a repurchase as well since high school. So my holy grail products, if you must. But yeah, so that's it, guys. That's all I got from Target. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you're not already, please subscribe. Hit that little bell button to be notified when I have new videos. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.